After last Sunday's Super Bowl show, there is only one thing that everyone is talking about. And no, I'm not talking about Shakira's tongue thing. It's Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony's 11-year-old daughter, Emmy Maribel Muniz, and she's the new hot topic. Of course, Shakira and JLo gave their best performance, but the one that stole the show was Emmy. So for that reason, I'm here to tell you all about her. Hit the subscription and the bell button and stay with me to meet Jennifer Lopez's talented daughter. Have you guys watched the jaw-dropping Super Bowl halftime performance that Shakira and Jennifer Lopez gave last Sunday? How about Demi Lovato's national anthem performance at the Super Bowl? For sure, the artists gave their best this year, but no one could be compared to the special surprise performance we got. The surprising appearance that left everyone speechless was the daughter of Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony Emmy. While Jennifer Lopez was performing her songs, Suddenly, her daughter Emmy showed up and started singing one of her mother's hits, Let's Get Loud, while Shakira was playing the drums. Until that moment, I had no idea that Shakira even played the drums. Anyway, back to Emmy. Her mother immediately joined her to sing the song together like a duet. They also performed Born in the USA together. The reaction of the people online to Emmy's performance was expected. People tweeted about how happy they were to see her perform and how she had a great voice just like her mom and dad. Others, including myself, were stunned by her stage presence and her ability to sing so easily in front of all those people. Her voice didn't even crack. I would freeze if I were to talk in front of people, let alone sing. Emmy had the support of her mother who was right there on the stage with her, but her dad did things a little differently. Mark Anthony used his Instagram to express his support, saying, Emmy, daddy is so proud of you. You are mine and I am forever yours. Aw, isn't that Mark cute? The talented singer also proves to be an excellent father and a very great ex-husband. For sure, Mark and Jennifer's fans were happy to see Emmy on the stage as well. She already has her own fan club. But when did it all start? And for how long has Emmy been singing? Well, according to an interview Jennifer gave to Entertainment Tonight, when Emmy was just a baby in her crib, she used to hum to herself. Mark also would totally agree and say that she was singing and that was good for her soul and her body. Emmy's voice is more similar to Mark than her mom. She has music in her veins. Despite how famous her mom and dad are, I always see the celebrity parents are very scared of letting their kind in the industry but seems like Jennifer is helping her child to start with her. On her YouTube channel, Jennifer has been sharing some videos of her rehearsals for her tour and her daughter is there with her. When she was asked if Emmy was going to join her on the tour, JLo said she would if she wanted, but when they asked how she felt about Emmy joining the industry, Jennifer was not so sure. She replied that she was not so sure that her child was ready to go through everything that comes with the industry, like the brutal world of social media. She explained that she didn't want Emmy to put herself any more out there than she already is, but also did acknowledge that if Emmy wanted to do it, there's nothing she could do to stop her. Back when JLo wanted to enter the industry herself, no one could stop her from doing what she likes, so of course her daughter is going to be the same, but the super mom mentioned that she would never push her child in any direction. She'd always help her as much as she can and give her as much counsel and advice and mentor her in the best ways she knows how to navigate. What a supportive family. In June of last year, Amy joined her mother on the stage and they sang Limitless together. The crowd that was cheering her was nothing less than 20,000 fans screaming like crazy. Only JLo's daughter can stand in front of all these people and sing confidently with no stress. This was only the first time she performed with her mother in front of all those people. In a video that was uploaded on Jennifer's YouTube channel, Amy talked about how it was for her to sing with her mother on her tour. She said she liked to rehearse, but the hair and makeup thing were not for her. I mean, she is still young. She might change her mind soon. Apparently, she knows how to handle the stage like a beast, just like her mother. There is one thing that Emmy mentioned, which might be the reason why she is so put together on the stage. The spotlight. As she said, the light on the stage is just so strong and bright that she can't see anyone in the audience. So at the moment, she only concentrates on her mother. Emmy mentioned that when she sings, she feels like she has achieved something. Do you think Emmy will become as big as her talented parents? 
When Jennifer Lopez gave birth to her twins, Emmy Maribel and Maximilian David, with Mark Anthony, the magazines did not stop offering to be the first to take pictures of the babies. The celebrities got to an agreement with People Magazine and OK Magazine, and they paid nothing less than $6 million for being exclusive paparazzi for Emmy and Max. Not a bad number, huh? Not a bad number at all, actually. Emmy and Max were born in February of 2008, and with the birth, they set a record for the first picture that was taken from them. Just five months later, the record was broken by Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt's babies, Vivian Marceline and Knox Leon. According to Forbes magazine, Brad and Angelina charged something between 11 and 15 million dollars for the first pictures. Just like I said before, Emmy has a twin brother called Max. He also clearly carries the Latin blood in his veins, plus the talent of his parents, since in the videos that Jennifer uploads on her YouTube channel, you can see that he also knows how to dance. Apparently, Max is the one who's going to walk his mom down the aisle when she is ready to say yes to her fiancé Alex Rodriguez. The couple J-Lo and A-Rod have been together for more than two years, and luckily their children get along well. Not only that, even her ex Mark Anthony has a good relationship with Alex. In an interview, Jennifer said that she became fond of Rodriguez's children, just as he has become fond of Emmy and Max. How can they do that? I can't even stay friends with my ex, let alone get along with her new man and the whole family. You may not remember, but Jennifer and Mark secretly married in Los Angeles in June of 2004, and although this is all water under the bridge since they separated in 2011, today the two exes have a very good relationship, are great at co-parenting, and support each other to continue growing their artistic careers. That is just too mature for me. Maybe time will give me more wisdom. Back to the kids. Alex's children are also on good terms with Jennifer. I mean, how can you not like JLo? Natasha and Ella both attended the Super Bowl with their dad to support their stepmother and stepsister. Among all the performances, according to Natasha, Alex's eldest daughter, her favorite part was when her stepsister sang. She said that she felt very proud of her little sister when she saw her perform and added that she has an angelic voice. Can this blended family be sweeter? The children of Jennifer and Alex Rodriguez spend a lot of time together. According to Jennifer, the four children are best friends. And in addition to that, Emmy has two loving father figures in her life, which makes her family bond and her support system even stronger. And I say the one who plays the most important role in this blended family is J-Lo. She is the glue of it all. Jennifer always makes sure to give her kids a great example and teach them how to appreciate what they have, especially their family. On last year's Father's Day, Lopez paid tribute to her children's dad on her Instagram by saying, Happy Father's Day to you, Flacco. Emmy and Max love you so much. Thank you for these two beautiful coconuts. Feliz Dia del Padre. And of course, she did not forget about the other father in her children's life, Alex. Back to the talented 11-year-old girl. Not only Emmy has the talent to sing, but also write. While music makes her feel fulfilled and is her greatest passion, the little singer also had a couple of business meetings. Yeah, you heard that right. I didn't even know what business meetings were at 11, but she is J-Lo's kid after all. The supporting mother that Jennifer is, she accompanied Emmy on her meeting with the publishers for an idea Emmy had for her first book. The book is called Lord Help Me. I'm not sure why she chose that title, but we're not going to talk about that. Just thinking about how much this 11-year-old kid has accomplished makes me go and want to change my life goals. I didn't even think about writing a book at 9. Wasn't it the same for you guys? Am I the odd one out? Man, this is making me feel so uncomfortable about my own childhood. But my time is up now. I will go wallow in my sadness somewhere else. It's your time, guys. Tell me what you think about Emmy. Did you watch her Super Bowl performance? Do you think she's talented? Will she be able to become a singer as big as her mom and dad? I have so many questions, so let's talk about all of that in the comments and remember to like, share, and become part of our Curious Subs family by subscribing to our channel. Until next time!